The Republican Party is a party of chaos. We saw that chaos last week when it took them four days to elect the Speaker of the House. Four days. Four days. And on the last night, they almost, they almost came to blows to the point where they were almost fighting each other on the stands and on the, in the Chamber of Congress. But luckily, they got their man, Kevin McCarthy, as Speaker of the House. And already we're seeing the ripple effect, the nightmarish effect on Congress by voting him in. Today, Republicans described fiscal responsibility by adding $114 billion to the deficit. But, but don't worry, don't worry everyone. The super rich and the super wealthy of this country are getting the tax breaks they need. Congratulations to the super rich and to the Republicans. You got what you want. Millions of dollars are going to be put onto the debt. Jobs are going to be lost in this country. But you got what you want. And guess who you're going to blame for all of it? Not yourselves, because you're the guys who voted for all this. You're going to play, blame in President Biden. Instead of taking responsibility for the crap you did, you're going to blame someone else. And worse yet, you decided to gut the Office of Congressional Ethics. Not a big surprise on that at all considering the fact that none of you want to take responsibility for it, and if you do take responsibility for it, everyone in this country is going to want your head for it. You see, the one thing, I mean, I try not to judge an entire party of people. There are still good Republicans out there who will fight against this. But here's the problem with this. You know exactly what you're trying to do. You know exactly who you're trying to blame for this. You're going to waste your time on BS porn, revenge porn investigations instead of doing your job that you promised you would do for your, for your gullible voters that put you in office. And while the rest of you are trying to wet your pants saying, look at what Biden did. He did the same thing Trump did. Get him in the get him in, get him in Biden's home, just like you did to the to, to, uh, President Biden, to President Trump. You did it to him. Why won't you do it to Biden? Why are you screaming, hollering, and hollering about that? Because you know who you are, and you know you're doing it. While you're doing all that, American citizens will now be destroyed by it. But there's a silver lining in all this. There always is. The silver lining is that while Americans are suffering because of your ineptitude, your power lust, your negligence, we're going to do what we're always going to do. We Democrats are going to do our jobs. We Democrats are going to make sure that Americans have what they need to survive in a country that you want to destroy. And you know you want to destroy it. The fact is this, Republicans, you've shown what you are during the week of hell. You held this country hostage because you couldn't even vote in a Speaker of the House. The fact is, my friends, you destroyed yourselves. But it's okay. We know you're doing this all for Donald Trump. And when you're in hell, let's just say that you'll be joining him. And when the Republicans, who obviously have no sense of what's good for them, because they can't discern from what's good for them for what's wrong with them, They'll be in the, in the middle of the fire as well. They voted to be destroyed. So there is, that's the whole point. And 
and it's just going to keep getting worse. And that's really the real shame of all of this. You don't care about the American people. You don't care about making their lives better. Let me ask you something. Is there something you do care about outside of getting on your knees for Donald Trump? Obviously, there isn't. And that's a shame. That's really a shame. Live in the hell that you're creating for yourselves and on earth, Republicans. The rest of us are going to work towards helping this country, helping the people of this country. You, on the other hand, we'll see what you do. CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left. Justice to the right.